Hi beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. I have a new pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is what are their true feelings towards you. There are four piles for you to choose from beginning on the left with the sunset pink butterfly, the blue flower, the hot pink butterfly, and the mint green butterfly. So timestamps are below for you. Go ahead and select your pile and I will meet you there. If you do are unsure what pile you want to go with, go ahead and pause the video and give yourself a few more seconds, minutes, <laughs> however long it takes for your intuition to kick in. And then I will go ahead and meet you at your pile. So see you guys in a bit. Hi there, pile number one. You guys are the Sunset Pink Butterfly group. Today's pick a card reading is what are their true feelings towards you. Everything is ready to go, so we'll get started. Thank you guys so much for participating and clicking on this video. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. Um, but just as a reminder to everybody, this is a general reading, so please keep that in mind as I go through the cards. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's find out what their true feelings are towards you. We're going to move your butterfly up here. And let's start with the tarot cards first. So we have the Five of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. And then for the Oracle cards, I have three uh, more cards in total. So we have Cinderella. I actually love how that goes with the color of the background today. Walking away and serendipity. So for some of you, for pile number one, I feel like there's been a separation for some of you. Either you've walked away no, you've walked away, yeah. That's why they're feeling that sense of loss. It could be that there was another person involved, is what I'm picking up on. Let me read the Cinderella card real quick, just to get, um, I'm still learning all these cards. I know, I'm very familiar, trust me, with the Serend uh, Cinderella. Cinderella story, but I want to see if there's any, because it's talking about magic, and it could just be that it's like when you walked away, you took that magic from their life, in a sense, that you took away that meaning that you brought. But let me just take a look and see real quick. Um, choose your time wisely, keep to within the instructions, trust the outcome will be good, rebirth, one life ends, another begins, phoenix arising from the ashes, enchantment, magic is at work, transparency, be clear and true, the right person for you is coming. I'm really getting two vibes. Like really, I... Uh, I'm getting two different vibes as far as what is going on here. I do feel for some of you, like the first vibe that I got is that you walked away from them. There's a separation. They're feeling the sense of loss. That you've taken that, just that present, your presence, your magical presence away from them. And that you've somehow have been possibly, you might be involved with somebody else. This might be like an ex for some of you. Um... But then it's like, are you asking about your ex? Some of you might be asking about your ex. Um, let me go back because what was really, when I was going through the Cinderella right now, I feel like right now I have so many different like things coming at me. Honestly, that's what I'm trying to like clear clear my mind right now to kind of focus on to make 
clear sense of it. Um, like when I was reading the right person for you is coming, the Knight of Pentacles is really what was catching my attention as I was reading that. And it might be like they feel like you're not, That's maybe that's what it is. Maybe they feel like you, they're not the right person for you and that's why you walked away and now you're getting involved with this other person and that they're the right one for you. And I'm feeling that bit of, not resentment, but there is like that sense of jealousy um, that comes with it along with, you know, because they're so sad and kind of like in despair about losing you. The other thing too, for um, the other, if that doesn't resonate with you guys, for that part, because like I said, I'm getting different things from these cards. The other part is where you have walked away from a karmic relationship and now they're just waiting for that right time to come towards you and they're kind of just waiting and they're kind of like in this Knight of Pentacles, like they're ready to make this offer for you, to you. But they're just waiting and it was just kind of like they feel like that serendipity that's where that serendipity card is coming in for at least for me it's more resonating towards the second vibe that i'm getting that i'm picking up on because they just feel like it was just meant to be like this just happened like how is it that this person is just walked away from this other person and now they're in my life and it's like that's why I'm getting two different things. So take what resonates as far as what I'm getting right now, pile number one. Um, the third one, let me just make sure that I'm getting this. I'm telling you, I'm getting so many different things just from these six cards. It's crazy right now. I don't know what's going on with <laughs> pile there for one that's, I like this is weird for me I usually get a couple things but I just feel like there's so many different things coming out like I'm feeling so much like I'm feeling heavy energy I'm feeling kind of intense energy I'm feeling kind of like the like um like heaviness heaviness like having trouble breathing almost because it's kind of like like, you know, like when you're hyperventilating, like sometimes you're crying, and you're just like <gasps> trying to catch your breath. Like that's almost what I'm feeling. And it might be that five of cups energy that I'm picking up on. That's just like so intense right now. Like it's so it's it's heavy, you guys. It is so heavy. Don't don't take that energy lightly. When I say that they're sad and in despair, like it's intense right now. Like it's it's sad, you know, um. Okay, this is the third one. And this one might resonate with more people. Because this is going to tie in everything. All the cards. Your person has met somebody. I think there is a love triangle. Karmic? Could be, possibly. They feel like it was um, serendipity. Like it was like they're meant to be with this other person. And that's why they wanted to walk away. They were just waiting for that time. They were waiting. Like, I think they figured, like, they see it as their time with you was done and over with. They know that you're upset. They know that you're hurting. But they wanted to move on with their lives. That's the other thing that I'm picking up on. It might be that I'm actually picking up on your guys' energy if you're in that Five of Cups right now. I might be picking up on your energy and that's why it's coming through so strong. Somebody, you or them, are in that energy. And I'm so sorry, pile number one. I, like I said, this one I'm getting just all kinds of different um, vibes from. and That's the third the third kind of story that I'm getting that's what's coming across right now so um they're what are their true feelings and um, it might be look, option one you know they I think honestly it's either they're upset about losing you or they just felt like for some of you I feel like if you 
that were in a relationship with this person, they just felt like it was time, like the, rela the relationship had to end, the time was up with you, and now they're moving on to other things. And pretty much the story is there's some other person involved, and there's this sense of loss, whether it be on your end or their end. They, that's the feeling. So take what resonates. Um, like I said, I'm getting those three different things are what coming through um, from these cards. And I'm sorry if this wasn't exactly what you're looking for, but um, this is what the cards are showing. So I hope that makes sense. And that's what I have for you, pile number one, Sunset sunset pink heart group thank you guys so much for your time thank you for viewing participating if any of this resonates let me know in the comment section below like share subscribe and thank you guys so much again for stopping by i truly truly appreciate it thank you pile number one bye hi pile number two you guys are the blue flower group you guys are the only flower i believe so we will take a look in a minute. Um, this reading again is what are their true feelings towards you. For new people stopping by, hello, welcome to my channel. For the returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for viewing another video. I appreciate it so, so much. But with that being said, um, there's really nothing else other than this as a general reading. Just keep that in mind. Just general reminder for you guys and let's go ahead and find out what are their true feelings towards you I'll go ahead and put your flower up there we'll start with tarot cards and let's see what we got so we got the hermit a page of swords and the seven of cups and then I have three oracle cards financial constraints, soulmates, and expectations. All right, pile number two. What are their true feelings towards you? They're watching you guys. They are watching you, whether it be in person, whether it be online, they have their eye on you. You have a little bit of a stalker, but I also feel like they're kind of um, protective over you as well. But they feel like you have so many options at the same time. I was just picking up on something right now and I just kind of feel... The other thing too though, I do feel like they're dream daydreaming about you. Like they're thinking of all these different possibilities, building a life with you. Honestly, that's the most, the strongest energy that's coming through. They're just, they might be dreaming about you as well, pile number two. I think like they want to do all these things with you, but right now, financially, they're not in a place where they're ready to make, to come forward. So for a lot of you, for pile number two, I think a lot of you are in a relationship with this person or you are close to them. Like you have some type of connection with them already because they're picking up on the soulmate energy. Like they feel so close to you. They feel so drawn to you. I also feel with the hermit, they might be kind of going through, um, for some of them, a dark night of the soul where they're just kind of like waking up and like all this energy, all, all this new... Like they're having all these epiphanies like all this um energy is coming through to them from spirit for some of you this could possibly be your divine masculine your divine feminine Fem did I, what did i say <laughs> feminine i'm sorry i oh okay sorry um couldn't speak there thumbelina thumbelina has been really present in my readings as of late and i still don't know all the meanings so let's see Exceeding expectations, people do not value what they know nothing of, finding your own people, your true name, there is no one like you, enjoy the challenges and learn from them, rejection will take place, you do not have to accept relationships with those you do not love, you will, will find your family and your can you or nature's child. What I'm really picking up on with that card is they are afraid to come forward right now. I feel like that's why they might be a little bit withdrawn from you. For some of you, pile number two, you may feel like this person is kind of giving you the cold shoulder. 
and I think it's just because they're just in this energy like they want to exceed your expectations they don't want to be rejected by you they're afraid that they're not going to be able to give you everything the castle the the car the family you know everything that you want it's like they want to give it to you but right now they're not able to and they feel like if they come forward right now that they're not going to meet your expectations and you're just going to like shoot them away and be like no, bye like this isn't going to work for me kind of thing sorry is that in focus i was just paying um, so that's really the energy I'm getting for you, pile number two. I really feel like with, this is the pile that you already know the person. If you do not know this person, <laughs> I mean, well, obviously if you're wondering, but I feel like they're in your life. They are in your life in some way because they're watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. They might be withdrawn kind of, I feel like they, they don't have negative feelings towards you. They have negative feelings because they're not able to move forward towards you yet they want to they're daydreaming about it they're dreaming about it they have it they're making plans they're thinking okay but financially if i don't get everything ready before she's gonna reject me but you have the soulmate card what are the odds of getting the soulmate card i'm just gonna see I and mean, that's really what i'm picking up on you actually have oh my goodness okay you guys know me i love my numbers i love my synchronicities you have two cards you have two 13s which are both fours and four is all about finding that stability and they feel and that's going back to your financial situation they feel like without having that set and ready to go they're not going to be able to build that stable foundation with you and that's what they want they want to build that because they want something that's going to last forever something that's going to um not end in like a few weeks few months kind of thing they want to forever with you because they feel like this is a deeper connection and i feel like for a lot of them spirit is guiding them because it is your divine masculine divine feminine that's coming through so they do have the feelings for you there there's you know you got your hearts and that soulmate card and that that should speak loudly and like I said, they're just right now, if they're a little bit withdrawn, a little bit cold towards you, it's not, don't take it personally. It's just they're trying to figure things out right now. That's really what it's coming down to for you guys. So I hope that resonates pile number two. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please let me know in the comment section below if any of that did resonate. Please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate your guys' time and support. Sending you love and light and positivity and i hope and wish you guys all the best thank you guys so much again bye pile number two hello there pile number three you guys are the hot pink butterfly group today's pick a card reading what are their true feelings towards you so everything is ready to go i will go ahead and get started and um, before i do for any um newcomers to the channel welcome thank you for clicking and viewing for the returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for your love, light, and support. It means the world to me. I'm so grateful to have you guys on this journey with me. And just as a reminder to everybody, this is a general reading, so please only take what resonates and leave everything else behind because it's probably meant for somebody else because it is a general reading. So with that being said, let's find out what are their true feelings towards you. We're going to move this over here. And we'll start with the tarot and then we'll get to the rest. You got the High Priestess, Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles. And then for your Oracles, Battle. Woman Holding a Heart and Breathe. There's a little bit of some intense energy, strong <laughs> energy coming through, especially with these cards. Let me grab a sip of water real quick. They find you mysterious, alluring, secretive at times, spiritual. They have a lot of passion for you. They do have a lot of passion for you and they want have this new beginning with you because of all these intense feelings which makes sense now what I said page of pentacles 
they do want to offer you that new beginning it just ties in but it's also not just about the passion but something stable as well then you have battle woman holding a heart and breathe I feel like for some of you think you have been in contact with this person and things haven't been going as smoothly I feel like there's been some kind of conflict I feel like they sense that you're the person in control from what I'm getting from the woman holding a heart I'm getting that's you guys sorry if you guys are the man who's <laughs> watching male um, but I feel like you're the person holding their heart you're intense like they're they're what they're feeling towards you pile number three you are an intense person you're secretive you're very spiritual very beautiful sexy you might keep to yourself a little bit but they're so drawn to you you're like a magnet almost and they want to come forward I feel like sometimes it's so much like they have to, that's why that breathe card like they have to kind of like step away from you because of this intense energy that you bring but it's like they're turned on by it at the same time and they're like in this okay that's what the battle card is the battle card is like they're in this battle between their heart and their mind right now like they don't know what to do they feel this passion they want to offer it to you you're holding their heart whether you know it or not like they've like um subconsciously given you their heart already and like they have to breathe because it's like it's just too much but also at the same time i feel like they feel like you need to breathe because you got so much going on around you like i really feel i'm really picking up on like the strong intense energy right now i really am like it's it's crazy it's so crazy but that's where they're at right now because they don't know what you're gonna what you're gonna do because you're so secretive i think they're they don't know how you really feel about them i feel like they feel like you're you're not you're kind of basically hiding what you really feel i feel like you kind of have like a, a front up with them and it's not very clear to them how you feel and that's why they're kind of like mind heart like okay heart feels this but you know mind i'm not seeing anything she's not gonna <laughs> you know if i offer her this this new beginning well she's just gonna like smack the freaking coin out of my hand and that's it like, you get, that's done they're intimidated by you a little bit because of that energy you have and because i feel like you're so knowledgeable as well especially if you've already awakened and i'm sure they already know yeah that's that's really what's coming across for you pile number three you guys uh, i mean they have it the feelings are there but right now they're just kind of torn they're torn on what to do with you honestly they're torn on what what you f how you feel and how you would react if they were to come forward as this page of pentacles i do feel this is a newer person for a lot of you someone who's newer in your life um, that may have come into your life recently this isn't going to be i do not believe this is somebody you've known for a very long time um actually though i take that back this might be an x for some of you it might have been an x and that's the other reason the battle card is here because there was an issue, disagreements, arguments, possibly even fights for some of you. I, I really hope not, but that's there. And I feel like they still, they want this new beginning with you. They want to start over. They want the second chance. They want to like offer their apology. 
they want to be like, you know, let's reconcile, let's fix this. You're, you know, I still have feelings for you. You still have my heart, even though things ended. And it's like, they're like, just like, their feelings, like they have to breathe because they're just like, I don't know what to do. And yet again, honestly, I feel for you, pile three is that they're your person. Ultimately, they are in this battle between the heart and the mind. Like, what do I do? How do they feel? How would they react to me? They're just very, very unsure of you right now because of they feel like you're being secretive about what you feel. So it's just, there's probably a lack of communication here with this pile um, because of the feelings and that are coming across. And I think it's, you know, just on both ends. Again, this is how they feel. That's why I'm picking up on, trying to pick up on their energy. I'm not trying to pick up on your guys's. I'm just going by what they're, what the cards are telling me and the energy I'm getting from it. So, and that's where it is. Um, if there's anything else, I don't believe there is. You do have, you do have three fours. And it's funny because the last pile, um, the four was the, like the dominant number as well. So they want to find that stability. Four is all about stability and that might be where it was and that might be the lack of stability. If you were with this person, this person is your ex that you're wondering, curious about. They feel like there was a lack of stability and now they want that and that would explain your page of pentacles. Like, let's start over and let's do this, you know, a better way and not do it the other way that we did it before that didn't work out. Or, you know, if this is somebody new, it might just be that they're just waiting for things to kind of come together and they just want that stable beginning with you. So um, that's what I have for you guys, pile number three. I hope that resonates with you guys. I hope that makes sense what came through. Let me know in the comments section below if it did. And um, comment, like, share, subscribe. I thank you guys so much again for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And that is all I have for you, pile number three hot pink butterfly group. So thank you guys so much again. Sending you love, light, positivity, and I wish you guys all the best. Bye pile number three. Hi pile number four. You guys are the mint green butterfly. Today's pick a card reading, just as a reminder, is what are their true feelings towards you? For all the new people coming through the channel, welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. For the returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for your love, light, and support. It means so much to me. I'm so grateful to have you guys on this journey with me. Um, I just want to say I really, really do appreciate it. It means so much more than you guys even know. And um, with that being said, general reading, keep that in mind. Because what that means is that everything may not specifically apply towards you. It may not all resonate. Parts of it may. Parts of it may not. Please just keep that in mind. There are a lot of people who would do personal readings for you if you want a more detailed, specific reading for you. Um, if that's what you're looking for, because it can probably definitely help out a little bit more. But hopefully messages come through. I'm hoping they do. Even if it is just one, something came through. So keep that in mind. Um, but let's go ahead and get started and find out what their true feelings are towards you. Pile number four. Feel like pumpkin. <laughs> I went with a fall color this time, you guys, so um, just because I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to reveal your tarot cards first. So we have the Four of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. For your Oracle cards, Snow White. Gosh, that's a beautiful card. I love that. Magician and the Mirror. Not for you. All right, there's some heavy energy, you guys, um, on this one. I'm getting sad. I'm feeling sadness, defensive. Oh, you guys, um, let me see, it's no way. Purity, I mean, I feel like, okay, that's really what it is. They feel... Like, you're too good for them. They have you on a pedestal, pile number four. They don't feel worthy of you. 
they feel like they have everything in their life and yet it's like you're the one thing they want and yet they don't feel worthy of you they're so successful with everything else but yet it's like they can't i feel like they can't figure you out either as part of it and they feel like you're just so pure and innocent you have this innocence about you Let's look at the purity card. I mean, I know it's pretty obvious, but I'm just going to see if there's anything else that might um, come through. Triumph of the pure heart. Rejection, rival rivalry. Attack cannot change you. You are trustworthy and loving. Animals are naturally drawn to you. You will have many lifetimes before you die. You will survive great tests. You are good to all. Your kindness will be rewarded. Yeah, you're Snow White. <laughs> In their eyes, the way they feel about you, they see you as Snow White. You're that Snow White princess energy. Snow White may not be your favorite princess, but hey, that's how they see you. At least that's the energy that they, they see and can relate towards you and they just feel like you're just so magical you just have this power they might feel like um they're just so drawn to you they're very you're like that magnet um but they also feel like you're just too good for them that they can't touch you and you're so different though they feel like you're different they feel like you're unique because of that energy because it's so rare um so many you know it it's not to talk bad about anybody but it's like when you have that snow white energy it's very very pure it really is and that's what they're picking up on it it's like they don't want to they don't want to ruin that if you understand what i'm saying they don't want to i feel like they're honestly and this king of pentacles i feel like they are the smug uh, smug arrogant kind of sometimes they might be selfish and and that's why the night not for you it's like you know I, uh, she's i can't i can't get her and because you're so pure they're just kind of like on the defensive they're just kind of just weary of even approaching you because it's kind of like you're just gonna be like the magician poof <laughs> make them disappear in a sense i hope that makes sense and what i'm trying to say with that and they're just trying to, I f like with the Four of Swords, I feel like they're trying to regroup and they're like, I, I think they, you make them realize their faults, like their downfalls, their insecurities, where they, what you have is kind of like what they lack like you make them realize it might be kind of like the that whole mirror energy is this in focus you guys i'm so sorry i noticed it like halfway and i hope that didn't mess it up but um that's what i'm getting like they want to like they want to work on themselves and i feel like some of them may be meditating some of them are trying to regroup so that they can be a part of your world like a really with the four of swords especially with the card like this is them right like this is their world almost like it's just you see how it's just plain it is and then this is you you have this like all these colors you have just liveliness so they do see you now is this to say this is like you know i know a lot of people like was well, it romantic feelings that sort of thing the cards aren't really saying that right now they are interested in you but at the same time they don't feel worthy they don't feel like um like they deserve you or that you know they're just like you you're just out of their league that's to put it bluntly that's how it is you're out of their league they don't feel it's almost like you're the light and they're the darkness okay okay um oh. you are probably an empath for a lot of you pile number four this person might be a narcissist and that's why they're attracted to you like a moth to the flame mm-hmm yeah 
You might want to be a little bit cautious with this person, pile number four. You might want to get to know them a little bit better. I feel, it's so funny, I just picked up. Um, with the Snow White card, you see how the wolf is there? I feel like that's spirit trying to protect you from this person as well, for some of you. Especially if they are a narcissist. It's not going to be for all of you, but I'm getting the sense for some of you it will be. Because of that energy. But um, for the rest of you, if you're not, it's not like an, um, an empath and the narcissist type deal going on. They just might feel like they have all this darkness within. They have this, these issues that they need to, like they're becoming aware of. And they're trying to figure out how do I get past this. So really going back to what I was trying to say, I know this is their feelings, this is how they feel. So is it where I can say that this is going to lead to some type of romantic relationship based on the cards that I have right here? It, I'm not seeing that right now. If I'm going based off of this, like I can't say that. Is it possible? Of course it is. But does it also mean it's not that nothing will come out of this? That's also very, very possible. Um, let's see. Uh, I have my tarot cards here. I don't think I have. Actually, let's do your... Okay, let's do two, card, two cards for you guys. Just because this one's... I feel like you guys are very sweet, loving individuals. Pile number four. And that's why I'm going to do the extra card for you guys. It's not to say that, you know, if you ever want to listen to any of the other cards. I'm not saying that. It's just... From what I have here, I feel like you just have, you're just magical. You're a princess or you're a prince and hate me for it if you want. At least I didn't say something negative, you know. <laughs> but let's do a card. Let's do this. Let's find out. Um, let's find out. Is there... <sighs> Give me a minute. I will cut the deck. I've been trying to, I, I have cut back on the shuffling, but like I said, this one, there's a reason why I'm doing this right now. I didn't do this with the other piles. And then I'll do an angel guidance card for you guys as well. I'm gonna share it. Okay, so yeah, there is a possibility um, for a lot of you that this might be a romantic relationship that it can move forward into something um, again with the king of pentacles i do just want to say you know be cautious pay attention to the red flags you guys i don't want you to get into the wrong type of um, relationship especially any type of karmic you guys don't need that you need your true love and so let's just see um what guidance we have for you this is just a bonus card for you guys But I hope that helps with the chariot to know. Because like I said, there wasn't any real love kind of cards that came through. Or that sort of thing. And even with the numbers, you have an 8, and you have a 6, you have a 1. So there's a there is a possibility for a new beginning with the number 1. So that's another thing with the chariot. So that's actually really good. Um, 6 is about success. So I mean, it's, it's possible, you guys. Um, but like I said just take what resonates with it and um kind of go from there don't don't just set your your heart on one thing this is you know what tarot anything can happen things can change it's just right now the energy for right now um what i'm getting so anything's possible and it just really depends on your situation because of it being a general reading so advice for you guys 
reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keep your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. Yeah, that goes right back to what I was saying about a lot of you being empaths. I feel like you're just giving, giving, giving of yourself and... You know, my spirit guides are just kind of like, you need to take a breather, you need to regroup, you need to recharge yourself. That's where the whole self-love um, thing comes through. Um, what was the other thing? Yeah, and finding that balance, that is what's going to help you. Keeping your energy high so that you're not in this, like, you know how Snow White, she has, like, in the card, she has all the darkness around her. I feel like that's what you need so that you can be in that higher vibration, higher energy, happy kind of thing. And it's not to say that this is just with this person. It could just be with the general, you know, all the people around you kind of thing where you're just... You're so sweet and kind. You're that. You really are that pure and innocent kind. You just want to make people happy, and you got to remember you need to make yourself happy too. And that's what this card is saying. So just take some time out for you guys. Pile number four. Um, after this reading, you might want to go do something to make you happy. You know what makes you happy. Whatever it is, if you want to go shopping, if you want to go get your nails done, if you want to go see a movie, if you want to go buy new clothes, go shopping. You know, if you just want to go out for drinks, whatever the case, whatever makes you happy go and do it go and do it after this and um, just recharge yourself and get yourself back into a good um, frame of mind because you give so much and your cup empties and you need to fill up your cup again so this is what spirits picking up on for you guys so i hope that helps um pile on number four and i you know just thank you guys again for stopping by i truly appreciate it let me know in the comment section below if anything resonates comment share subscribe i appreciate you guys again so much for i'm um, just stopping by participating viewing and again to all the recent subscribers thank you guys so much i really really appreciate it sending you all love light positivity healing recharging energy <laughs> for you guys especially all you empaths and um, thank you guys so much i really really appreciate it bye pile number four